Alrighty, what's going on everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Last time we left off, we finished up Essex. I think that's what it was called. God, I just played it yesterday and I'm like already forgot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Essex. But we're gonna go talk to Ranvi. She'll tell us for sure, so. But why do we have like a oh, note here? Look at you, Joey. Ah, oh, a new letter. Bishop Derolafs and Acha. Okay. Don't really remember either one of these guys or people. Uh, note from Elderman of Sharapashire. Evil. Things have settled in Sharapashire. I can scarce, be scarce believe all the war and, and grief we went through. Should you find yourself back in the Shire, please come for a visit, your friend Bishop Derolaf. Alright. You know, I got a letter a while ago telling me I should go visit somebody, but I don't remember who it was. Uh, dear Eivor, the wolf, ki wolf kiss of Ravensthorpe. I must confess further to the great sin and guilt I feel for having betrayed Hunwald and Swanbarrow. The Elderman Sea is stable for now, however my heart is not. I regret my actions. However subtle they enabled Herifrit to spill the blood of good yellow bellies upon the tiles of our lord. I have so much love for you and respect. What you have endured unfairly, all my prayers are, direct are directed at the light that shines through you and those you protect. Life is impossible and I turn my eyes up to him. Acha in faith. Faith. Okay. And I gave up on <laughs> trying to read that halfway through because I just suck at reading. All right, let's go see what Ranvi has to say. Quat tiden the Eivor. In Essex, I play the matchmaker and the heartbreaker, an easy way to forge an alliance. But let us stick to war and diplomacy. Understood. Thank you, Eivor. Yelmsvike and recruited Rollo. Okay, cool. Alright, what are we going to do next? We're probably going to go after um, Bolke or Sigurd or somebody. Because this one is... Well, we can do this, but I'm kind of underleveled for it. I'm pretty sure I'm at like 157. So... Obviously, it's not, like, impossible, but it's going to be a little bit more challenging than I would like. That one's impossible. So this is the only one left. 160. Yeah, we'll definitely do this one. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Bassam and I have a chance to save Sigurd. But we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. I will go now, and I'll bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croindene by now. Alright. Do you have anything else to say? Uh, no. I should go. Alright. Do I have another letter? Looks did this... Like Also, was this arrow here before? Or this bow, I should say? <laughs> it's not an arrow. Beerston. Hello, Evo. I've sent you a small gift. I bet you'll like this bow. I wish I, I could do more. You've helped me get back on track and reconnect with Alfida. Alfida. I'll never forget it. Thank you, Evo. Beerston. Well. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. See, I, I, I knew we didn't leave something there. Now, how does this work? Like, is it good? That's the question. Uh, it's this one. Damn, it, it, it it's kind of better. Each successive hit temporarily increases ability damage. Well, that part doesn't really interest me too much.
Also, uh, have I been using the wrong bow? No, but... Hmm. So, I'm just, I'm just trying to see, like, what would happen if I upgrade this. Or... Well, yeah. Basically upgrade it at the blacksmith's. Um... Because it's already, like, almost as strong as the one I'm using right now, which is almost maxed out. So... I might have to switch. This one, too, like... Mm. I don't remember why I switched this bow, <laughs> the one I'm using currently, but apparently I did. I'm also going to have to upgrade my armor soon. Like, I should just upgrade it just because. <laughs> I need to upgrade that armor because it's kind of not working too well. You're just in time for new stock. May I, I thought see your there was gonna be a little cutscene or something. I guess Can't not. Too many. So we can always buy nickel. Go on. It's not it a big try. issue. It that she doesn't sell freaking armor. Back damage, poison, armor. Sell our trinkets. Always a pleasure doing business. Nothing else? Nope. I actually Where haven't been go? collecting that see much money. I, hope to see I only soon. have like 30... Uh, probably like almost 4,000. I haven't really been... earning as much as I would like. I don't know. But... I think I'm just going to upgrade oh, some of my baby. armor so that I have something that'll protect me. What have you got for me today? I can get you that one easy. So I should probably upgrade the bear armor first because I kind of like the bear armor. Is that what you want? All right, well, I'm going to upgrade this helmet. Oops, wrong button. This will serve you well. That way I have more way of the bear armor. Uh, and I'm upgrading it will make it better than the one I have right now. I don't know why I never switched it out. I just forgot, I guess. I think I'll upgrade the bracers. Yeah, because I don't I don't think there's any other bear armor. You have right? a keen eye for quality. No, nothing there. I'm not going to use these Carolingian stuff because, like I said many times, I feel like it would be cheating if I used something that I got because, you know, I have Twitch Prime. I don't think that's very fair. Alright, so everything else I have equipped is pretty much getting upgraded. Or yeah, all the Way of the Bear stuff. This would serve you well. My right. pieces are good, but that one's very good. Let's go with uh, the torso. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to run out of materials, but I probably won't. I've got a lot, actually. And it only costs one. Plus, I could always buy more. Alright, so I'm not going to be using this helmet anymore. I should look at the trousers again. So that was at like 29. That one easy. That's not that great. Increase attack after stun finisher. Additional increase the stun. Uh, I guess. I guess we'll just do it. It only costs one nickel, so it's not that big of a deal. I could always buy more. All right, so that's all our armor upgraded. We have. You like Couple the looks bows of that one? here. Predator bow, I'm not really a big fan of, just because you know it, it goes into first person mode and it kind of throws throws me off a little bit. 
we currently have the Hunnish Bow, which I'm probably not going to use that much anymore. Uh, what happened to the new one I got? Ah, that one's pretty good. I'm not really sure. Oh, was it this one? I think it was this one. Already up to God. Guess we'll upgrade it. Maybe we'll get some use out of it, and then. Uh, Yeah, I don't know if I should upgrade a longbow or a predator bow. You have a keen eye for quality. I mean, it's pretty good, so... Yeah. Wait, I didn't look at how much that cost. <laughs> Shit. It costs three. Okay. So the armor only costs one nickel. Weapons, it looks like it costs three. Interesting. All right, well... I now I have... Whoops, I probably shouldn't have I'll cut him off, later. but whatever. Be well, my friend. And he does do good work. So, now all our armor is, like, pretty good. So, instead of this, I'm going to be using... I'm going to be using which one? This is the one I just got. I'm probably gonna have to upgrade that a little bit. Let's go ahead and put that headshot thing on here. Or if there's anything else. Speed, stealth. Yeah, we'll make this. Well, uh, I don't know. And then we can upgrade it. Dude, I don't know what I want to do. So, see, this is a cloak. So maybe we'll <laughs> put some other stuff on it. Ooh, even less weight. Eh, man, that's not a bad idea. I feel like something stealthy for the cloak. Would probably be good. Like assassination damage, that doesn't sound too bad. Sure. Now this one... Let's go with... More armor. That's not what I wanted to do. Shit. There's that weight. That's fine. weight and maybe some heavy resistance or elite resistance that could work go heavy and then the other one god damn it I keep doing that this one we have melee damage and I don't know what fire build up resistance is like, we have fire damage resistance, and then we have fire buildup. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know. So we have fire damage resistance here, and then we'll probably go with... Uh, and go with evasion. That's not a bad idea. We'll go with evasion. There's that other one. And I think that should be good. I'm going to get rid of all these markers. Alright. So the weakest one right now are these. Guess we'll upgrade these a little bit. Alright. So I'm, uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> I guess that is it. So, now, I gotta figure out where to go next. We're going all the way down here. 
Wonderful. Is there anything else I need to do here? Like upgrade the settlement or anything? Well, I can upgrade some stuff over here, so might, might as well do that. So we're going to head on over here and see if we can upgrade these things and make them count. What is this? Carrie's house? Assassination damage. Dude, I can only upgrade one of these things because it's going to just bankrupt me. Screw it. <laughs> we'll just do it. That way I don't get confused. Show me what lies ahead. Unwalled and Swanborough. Swanborough. I didn't realize they were there. Yeah, it's so weird. Like, I upgraded these things, but I think because I didn't finish upgrading the rest of the camp before that, they didn't count. So... Whatever. Uh, I guess we're just gonna go. Let's fast travel down here. Uh, I guess a, a little update for videos and stuff. Um, the session before this one, I decided to make some much longer videos. So now they're like around 40 minutes to an hour uh, just because it is taking a long time to get through this game is this just a yeah that's just a viking guy hang on loot six silver all right so yeah, um, I don't want to be uploading this game forever, so I'm just going to start making longer videos and uh, like I said, the, the session before this one I started making them like 40 minutes to an hour. I'm trying to cut them so that, uh, you know, it's not too weird, like I'm still trying to make sure that you know, it makes sense the way I cut them, so... I've been trying to, like, actually follow part of the story for how I cut them. You know, make sure I <laughs> cut them in, right, in the right spot. If that makes any sense. Like, making sure I don't cut it in the middle of a mission or something. You know, that type of thing. I don't know, it might still look not the best, but I don't know. I don't know. But that means there won't be like as many videos going up. Which is fine. Like honestly, if I were to just make everything 20 to 25 minutes like I was doing, well, that's part of the reason why we're at part like 125 or something at this point. I don't know what part <laughs> this is going to be. But we're definitely in the hundreds. I don't know where this mystery is. Is this that mystery that I just never finished because it has something to do with the water? I think so. Alright, we'll, we'll just forget about that. But yeah, uh, I don't want to be like uploading as many videos as I have been for Assassin's Creed just because, I don't know, not really sure why, but I just think it would be better to have longer videos so that, uh, you know, I can upload more. Like, 
I don't know. It feels like we'll get through the story faster if I just. Alright. It just feels like things will go faster if I just start cutting like 40 to 50 minute videos. Um. So yeah. Because right now I'm uploading like two videos a day and they're like 20 minutes each. So it's like 40, 40 minutes of game being uploaded per day. And that doesn't seem like a lot. You know, I'm just thinking like... You know, if you're watching a TV series, it can kind of suck to watch one like, like you would in... The old days, I guess. <laughs> I mean, old days being a couple years ago where you had to watch things on TV and just wait to watch, you know, an hour long episode every week or even half hour long episode every week. And so, you know, the season is like completed and ready to watch, but then it would take like six months or even a year to watch the entire season. And it's like, that kind of sucks, because then you gotta wait. But now with streaming, like Netflix and Disney Plus and uh, Paramount Plus and all that stuff. I don't know if Paramount Plus is gonna have... No, they are. They're gonna have exclusive series. But anyway, you know, streaming services like those... Um... You know, they... Sometimes they, they will, uh... Just put up all this, the entire season on one day. I think Netflix does that still. So, you know, it's like, hey, here's a show. Here's the entire season. You can binge watch it in, in a weekend or something. And then it's like, great. Now I don't have to watch. Or, or now I don't have to wait anymore. Where did I see this treasure chest? I know I saw something. Hey, calm down. Damn, I don't I don't know where it went. Yeah, but anyway, you know the fact that you can binge watch an entire season now instead of trying to watch a show for the entire year is kind of better. <laughs> And it also means you can watch the thing at your own pace, you know? Some people like to watch things really fast, some people like to watch them really slow. And all that type of thing. And, uh... I guess that's kind of what I was thinking of doing, is just... Well, that's kind of a cool crosshair. Actually, that... Do you not have to draw this thing? Dude, that's fast. I like it. I like it. Um. So yeah. Instead of uploading like only 40 minutes of content a day, maybe an hour. It's probably better if I just upload you know an hour like more than an hour of content a day or just not even worry about uploading a certain amount per day like just upload as soon as I'm done recording or rendering I guess which is also another thing I'm gonna start doing I've been scheduling my videos uh, Instead, do I have to move this thing? I probably do. So I've been not been able to. I've not been able to see these or speak. But um, I've been scheduling my videos so that you know I do have like one or two going up every day at a certain time, but. I don't really want to do that anymore. 
so I'm just gonna upload uh, whenever I can. I'll still try to do it consistently. Um, it's probably gonna help me also record consistently as well. Because I won't have a backlog to rely on. You know, sometimes I'll have like two weeks worth of content and it'll be like, all right, well, I don't have to record for like two weeks. <laughs> and then uh, that's that's not good. It's not a good habit to get into. So if I don't have that backlog there, I'll be able to just uh, be motivated to record more because it's like, oh shit, I'm out of videos. I should probably record. And it'll also be nice that videos will go up a little bit faster. So, you know, something I record today won't go up in like two or three weeks. So, yeah. That's basically it. Longer videos and then just uploading them as soon as they're done rendering, pretty much. Just making the videos as quickly as possible and then uploading them as quickly as possible and hope that... Uh, Things work out that way. So who am I talking to here so I stay away from them? This guy? Alright, so I'll climb up here. Oh, it's Bassam. Alright. A charter of ale wisdom. The scroll reeks of rotten ale. The South Saxon way, the golden glory water charm. Drink nine mugs of ale and toss nine more into the muds of the of the Mayon Valley. Then one must guzzle until their loins have no more meaning. Meaning, once nude, the palate of the helm is cleansed. Dip your hand in cow dung from the best farms of Croydon. Run nude across the valley of Mayon. Drink nine final goblets and mead. And dash moon dust across your empty skin of darkness is not taking you fully. Drink more. For only from this darkness of the glory water can one refined God. Then one is a South Saxon. They can re revel in the same, same glory of the sons of Aella in 477 when they slay the Britons. And Croydon will be the new seat where the throne shall remain forever. Alright, sounds kind of gross. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this thing unless I can climb up here. Actually, that that could work. Uh, where's this thing? Over here. Alright. You wouldn't be the first Oh, come on. But what kind of freaking trigger point is that? I fail you, Guthrum Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl. I'm sorry. You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Mm. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. I have carved a furrow through this teeming land. The skulls sing loud of my deeds. Those who boast have something to prove. The great have no need for it. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Crone's Garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we are able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I'll not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. 
A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfear. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Sigurd's last. You had better be all they promised. Has brought many allies together from all over the land. Like these two fine fellows. Brother and Broder, was it? Careful! Basim, good to find you here. What news do you have? Fulke remains at Porchester, just as we suspected. And as of three days ago, Sigurd was with her, alive. That is the best news we could hope for. And how are you? I am well. And keen to see my old friend again. You'll be glad to see you, I'm sure. Saxon. We're here. Gudrum Jarl, your second Soma talked often of you and your conquests. They are all one in my memory. A single great battle that stretches from my first breath to the end of this sentence. It sounds glorious, a living Valhalla. Perhaps it does. But what happens when all the dead wear the same face and their pleas become a senseless blare? Where did Torsten die? On a field or in a marsh? We were close as brothers once, yet I don't recall where or when. You wear the scars of battle, and not only on your skin. The needle of loss becomes blunt once you have been pierced enough. But enough of that. Careful, Saxon. We're here for the killing. Not to make friends. Eivor, you giant steaming bowl of elk piss! <laughs> King Oswald sends his regards. Brothir, brother. Or is it the other way around? It's... Uh, good to see you, Eivor. Oh, stop mewing like a heartsick kitten! He's been moping since the wedding. There'll be time later to reminisce. Are you madmen ready to spill some blood? After that bastard red, some nice soft Saxons will make easy meat for my blade. Eivor, my second favorite Norse. Must we always drift together on such violent tides? That is the way of things. Yet the meeting of friends is a glimmer of light in these dark days. Ever the optimist, though. It's good to see you both. I brought no pleasant words, only my blade. Let's see which proves more useful. All right, I think that's everybody else that we had to talk to. And I, I'm kind of upset that uh, <laughs> the thing triggered when I was like over here. I have to figure out how to get back up there. Oh, come on. Okay, Eivor, please. It were just, just. There you go. Oh god, that's a big ass scroll. And that sucks. All right. Apparently, the only way is the other side. So screw it. I said screw it. <laughs> God damn it. Dude, I'm like, I'm getting really upset. Oh, there's nothing there. can't. Uh, don't really feel like reading this. Yeah. 
don't feel like reading that, so... Oh well. I mean, it's not even worth trying to climb over here because all I missed was loot. Why is she just walking off, like, edges right now? The entire game that hasn't really been happening, but now it's like... No, I'm just gonna walk off. Jesus. They would've just let me loot this place earlier. But no, I, I walked a little too close to the freaking bubble of... Trigger points. I don't know why. <laughs> why that would happen. Alright, I think we can finally move on. So... Oh, they do mark them on the map. I think we should probably get this synchronization point first and then worry about these. Also, why is this thing like glowing? We might have a mystery here. Oh. Dude, that's a giant ass freaking bull or cow? I don't know. Probably a bull. Alright, that's not a mystery, that's one of those, like, special animal fight things. I don't, I don't really want to do that. I'm trying to figure out where the hell to go, because I don't know where the road is. Here we go. Yeah, one of the other things I wanted to talk about... Uh, Or, I guess, another reason why I wanted to, uh... Maybe not schedule my uploads as much anymore, just... It's just because... Uh... I don't know. I feel like having a schedule for uploading is a good thing. Um, but it would be even better if, you know, I had, like, a following or something. Just because... You know, if I did have... You know, a bigger following, it would make more sense because, you know, people would probably be like, oh man, I can't wait. I can't wait for the next video and stuff. I mean, that's how it is with bigger channels. Dude, why is everybody writing like freaking essays here? Scroll with King Seal, it is with great sadness that I send this letter to you, men of Sussex. My Thanes, Reeves, warriors, and defenders of Winchester have failed to maintain a fine flock of sheep and a trip of goats. They suspect a crooked man with no name with one arm longer than the others and eyes of a devilish tenor. Tenor. Not only has he stolen these hindered beans, he has driven fear into the children of Wessex. If you find him, please bring him to face judgment from our bishop and myself, the king, Alfred Rex. Alright. So yeah, anyway. Um... For... Bigger channels that have, like, an established following, you know, it would make more sense to have scheduled uploads because then people will see that you're consistent and all that stuff. Alright. But for a smaller channel, like mine, as far as I know, I don't really have any regular viewers so and I feel like if I really wanted to grow I should probably have let's plays going up a lot faster so that if somebody does happen to stumble upon my channel they will you know have an entire series to watch and then you know that that could cause them to uh Maybe subscribe and start following and stuff. Um, I don't know. 
That's just one of the things that I was thinking of. Like, it, it might help with channel growth because, you know, if somebody's gonna have to wait, like, how long has it been? Like, four or five months for me to finish a damn game? Like, are they really gonna wanna <laughs> stick around for that? It doesn't seem like it. But you know, if I just upload the videos as fast as possible and just get them all uploaded and then you know, the entire series is there for people to enjoy. Hopefully. I don't know, that's kind of my thought process with that one. But... You know. If you did have like a, a larger channel though, like scheduled uploading is probably a lot better because then then you'll give your viewers something to look forward to okay I understand I'm gonna have to grab a freaking explosive thing over here somewhere and then take it across all these things alright so yeah and I'm still gonna try to be consistent with my uploads and stuff, like, I'm still gonna try to upload every day at least. Uh, it just won't be, like, as consistent as it would be if I were to just schedule everything out weeks in advance. There's something there. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Now, plus the idea of, like, um, you know, having videos not go up until weeks after I record them, that's also just another problem I don't really enjoy. Oh, you know what? Probably just have to throw it. Kind of forgot about that. <laughs> I was like, how do I get it over there? Did they pass something? Oh, just those. But you know... Uh... Fucking hell, dude. Uh, I'm getting... Re I don't know. Maybe I'm not in the best mood to be recording today. Because I'm getting really annoyed by everything that's happening. Letter smelling of salty dried tears. Dear Bishop of Canterbury. Send you this letter, for you must be closer to God than King Alfred, who has sent dogs to chase me. I have been accused of theft and comprising, compromising the Saxon country I love. If you are born different, the world conspires against you to keep you. Please pray for me, but God made me in his image. Jagged forms have a beauty as we... Oh God. Jagged forms have a, a beauty we as mortals are only beginning to understand. There shattered melodies meant for the mouths of angels. I was hungry and did what I must to share it in the earth's bounty of sheep. Now I find myself in a tiny brick castle cage for him to welcome me to heaven. Amen to this cruel world as it's English Beoberg. My god, dude. I cannot read today. And I'm just like, man. can't read. I can't climb things. Everybody's freaking writing less letters that are basically like a thesis for your PhD or something, I don't know. Like, there's just way too much writing right now. And it's <laughs> annoying me, especially the fact that I keep messing up my reading. But... Yeah, anyway. Um, I, I just feel like it would be better if I just uploaded more and quicker and just not worry about how I schedule things because at the end of the day it probably doesn't even matter. Just like I said, I don't think I have a really big following. Or, well, I don't have a big following, but I don't think I really have any sort of following. 
like I don't think there's people out there like just waiting on the edge of their seat for my next Assassin's Creed part. Dude, where the hell is this damn tattoo going? Did you just, like, get back here? Oh my gosh. Tattoos aren't that difficult to get because they actually do stay at the end of the path for a while. Let me use my bird here. Be my eyes. So this is a raid place, I think. Alright, I don't see any other treasures or anything, so... Anyway, um... Yeah, I don't think there's people, like, waiting for my next <laughs> videos and stuff, so... At least right now, as I'm recording this, you know. Let's go hood it here. And it, it doesn't matter. You know, I don't really care about numbers or anything. I just do this because it's fun. It's fun. It makes video games a lot more enjoyable for me. Because it feels like I'm actually doing something. <laughs> Plus, it, it it allows me to like vent my frustrations if I get frustrated with a game. This is a raid, right? Ooh, there's actually a scout here. Over to the west. Over here somewhere. All right. This is probably a bad idea. Dude. Hmm. <laughs> That's gonna be a bit difficult. Because if I'm thinking about this correctly, I have to drop off the uh, zip line at the right time to get that. That's gonna suck. But, yeah, I just, I just feel better if, like, I have all my, you know, stuff uploaded so you know, I don't have a backlog to rely on. And uh, it also just be available for anybody to watch, you know? And... I don't think it's that big of a deal if, uh, you know, I end up missing a couple days or, you know, like, videos aren't being uploaded, like, consistently. If I had a bigger following, then, yeah, it would make more sense that way, but... I don't. As far as I know. So, yeah. But if you are watching this and you do watch my stuff, then thank you. <laughs> I do appreciate it. I, I appreciate anybody who happens to see my videos. I don't. I don't expect like anything out of this, but when people do end up seeing my videos or my streams and stuff, it's it's kind of nice. And really my main goal here is to just try to be... <laughs> try. Keyword try to be entertaining. And maybe help out a little bit in video games and stuff, like... There have been a few people that do learn something from my videos, like how to do something, so that's always nice. I, I enjoy that. 
Oh, look at that. Calculated. Yeah, so anyway, long story short, videos are going to be probably a lot longer. I'm going to be uploading everything, like, kind of in clusters, I guess. You know, as soon as I'm finished recording, I'll edit and render and upload as quickly as possible instead of trying to schedule things out so they go up over like, you know, two or three weeks. Because I, I just don't feel like that's working that well anymore. Or at least for a series like this, you know. <laughs> a series that's at like part 120 something. And it's probably gonna... I, I wouldn't be surprised if this makes it to part 200, <laughs> to be honest. So, yeah, that, that's about all I wanted to say about that. Pretty much the entire update. <laughs> Longer videos, trying to upload them faster, and, you know, if I do upload them faster, then hopefully that'll uh, motivate me to record, like, more often. Because... You know, like I said, I won't have a backlog to rely on. And I'll, I'll be forced to record consistently if I want to be consistent. Well, that's pretty much it. Now let's go ahead and focus on uh, doing this mission. <laughs>